Okay guys, so this is my 21 week pregnancy vlog. I really want to get to 20 weeks, but the weeks are just flying by. It's just so crazy. They go by so fast now and I just can't believe it. So we're on 21 weeks now and I try to keep up with it every week, but we just are staying busy and I just really feel like the beginning of the week is when I turn the new week and I feel like before I know it, it's like, like it's already almost the weekend now and next week I'll be 22 weeks already. So it's so crazy. I'm so close to almost 22 weeks, but I just wanted to really want to get on here to get to the 21 week vlog. Not a whole lot is going on. This thing going on this week is I'm feeling her move so much. I feel like when you hit the halfway mark, so many things happen, especially feeling her move around and I'll just be working away and she'll just start kicking me or like nor before now I would feel her like at nighttime if I was really still like watching a show or something. But now I feel her like when I'm walking around and working and all that kind of stuff. Sorry if you hear Molly barking. We all we have some guys working on our building outside. So if you watch our daily vlogs, we've been wanting to get that fixed up out there for like a gym exercise room and we play out there outside a good bit if you see in our daily vlogs. And anyways, they're working out there getting that fixed windows and the doors now and that's pretty much it left that we have to do out there so I'm really excited they're here this morning and I wasn't expecting them getting here this early so I was wanting to get this video before then but I have to put her up or she'll be barking even if I have her out here with me so barking that's what she's barking at them working out there and I'm gonna try this video <laughs> please don't be barking through the whole video because I know that will be annoying and I gotta get to work so I really have to do this really quick and I'm so sorry I really wish she wasn't barking but as the other exciting thing is thinking about names we haven't really sat down and thought about like a ton of names but we do have about five on our list now pretty much those are actually names that we thought about Kinsler Claire so if I had talked about those that I liked but we didn't use then you guys might know those names that we were thinking about but we really don't know if we're gonna do another K I know everybody's suggesting K names which is so helpful but really to be honest, I kind of want to change it up and do something different. And I have a cool idea I'm thinking about that I really want to do. And I don't want to mention it yet or talk about it too much. So I want to do like a guess what her name is kind of thing. And a video and do a big name reveal video and all that kind of stuff. So, but she may not have a name for a good little while because we haven't decided. Absolutely. We have some on the list and we're thinking about and we're hearing a lot of names. So that's really cool just to get some good ideas. And... Yeah, so I'm really excited that I name her, and that is another girl. I cannot believe I'm gonna have three girlies. I would never have thought in my whole life I was gonna have three girls. Like growing up, I never ever. I always wanted three kids. I always always wanted three kids. What I would dream when I was little was I was gonna have like a boy and a girl, or a girl and a boy first, and then my third one I wanted to have a surprise, like not know the gender, because I'd have boy and girl stuff already, and we'd be prepared either way. But with having the two girls already, I really wouldn't know this gender. And this is another girl, so uh, it's so crazy. But I'm getting really excited, so I know they're going to be best friends. We're always going to be able to go out and do girly stuff, get our nails done together, and just shop and do fun girl stuff together. So I'm really excited. I love girl clothes, and I love girls doing their hair. I'm going to have lots of hair to do now. And just, I can't imagine if one or all of them want to do hair or I know I'm sure about one of them will want to be a chiropractor like daddy -o. and then I bet one will be more like sporty and to hang out with Joel and stuff and I don't know I just always wanted three kids I thought three would be a good mixture and then you have a tiebreaker in there I just thought I never thought I'd have three girls I thought there'd be a boy in there somewhere but I'm really really excited though to have more girls the more I'm thinking about it and just we're gonna be like prepared and everything is going to be awesome and I love it. I just can't wait to see Kinsley and Claire with her. They always want to kiss on my belly all the time. They want to hug and kiss her all the time. And so that's awesome to experience that with them because before like Kinsley was really little when Claire was born and she had love on her and everything but it's not as like now she's really thinking about it and she's like asking questions and she wants like she can't wait to hold her and help take care of her. I think she's going to be a really good help. And Claire loves babies and baby dolls. So I know she's going to be great with her too. I can't wait till she can kick and the girls can actually like feel her move. Because they'll probably be like, what? And it's so funny because every time I go to the doctor, Kinsley's like, are you having her yet? Are you having her yet? Or is she going to be here yet? And she's so excited and ready for her to be here. So, so yeah, it's just, I can't believe it. I really can't believe that she's going to be here soon. I feel 
fuck the summer is gonna fly by because it's so much fun and then she's gonna be here so and then we'll have to show you guys when we decide to move their rooms around and we're, we've got to get Claire potty trained, get her pasty done with that and I had some people ask me about Claire's pasty and then I've talked about it in daily vlogs but I guess some people don't see when I talk about it and so and I don't like put it out there on the title like Passy, talking about her passy or whatever. Pretty much, she just has it in the car, in the bed, and we're gonna. It's it'll hopefully it will be gone before this new baby comes because she'll be having passy, and then Claire will be like, I want my passy, but I want there to be a little bit of a, like a few months in there where she knows, you know, like she doesn't have any more passy, and passy's for baby, and all that kind of stuff. So we'll have to get used to that at potty chain, and then we're gonna get their rooms switched around. We're gonna switch. Claire in the kids' room and get all that organized and then get the baby's room fixed and we were just looking outside yesterday actually at getting all the baby stuff and Joel's getting the baby bins organized and the newborns and three to six month stuff off to the side so we'll be ready to get that out soon and get the baby stuff, they, all the baby stuff out again, the baby swings and all that kind of stuff. We're trying to decide do we want to save it and keep it again for now just in case if we have another one. Or we're ready to get rid of it and we're like done for sure we don't know yet yeah we don't know so i think i think i'll probably end up keeping it for a little bit just to make sure but i think like i don't know we go back and forth but anyways so they'll probably have another video in the future so because we have no idea right now oh yeah so when i went to the doctor recently i was 124 now and i started out at 112 i think so i've gained, gained like 12 pounds all right that's crazy halfway through and i think you're i don't even know how much you're supposed to like 30 or 40 or then that's normally what i do like about 35 so and i feel like i gain a lot and get really huge by the end so yeah they didn't say what the heartbeat was at the doctor or anything i mean it just sounded really good the last appointment was super easy i mean was it anything it was just like okay you're measuring good the heartbeat sounds good you look good everything's going good and i was at, i was like in and out of there in no time it was just like so bad yeah my clothes my clothes are feeling really tight i'm wearing a lot of the leggings and i'll show you guys that when i show you my belly and all and i haven't wore any of my pregnancy clothes yet i feel like they're kind of big or maybe i've stretched them out when i was bigger before because i've just saved them each time but I've tried some of them on and they've just been like still way too big. Like pants are saggy and the shirts are just really loose. So I want to give me a few more weeks and I'll probably be wearing more of my pregnancy clothes again. But right now I'm trying to just stick with like leggings and just stretchy clothes like that. Which is really easy because leggings are like the style right now and what's into that's really awesome. The gym is getting a little bit harder. I did vlog about that recently and filmed some when I was at the gym so that was kind of cool. I hadn't done that in a while and... It's been a lot of fun. I've been trying just to keep up my regular workouts. And when I'm too tired, I feel like I'm doing too much, then I run a little bit and I just do a little bit less or whatever. Or just try to run more. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So when we were on vacation, I was wanting to mention this before and I totally forgot about it until recently. So I noticed when we were on vacation that I kept realizing that we're going to be a party of five things. So we'd say we have four or we have two adults, two kids or whatever. And I was like, oh my gosh, like before long, we're going to be a party of five we're going to tell people that there's five of us or two adults and three kids and a lot of tables like we like to sit at a booth usually and a booth is for like four families of four or tables are usually set up for families of four or like if you go on rides normally they're set up for two people or four people or even number and so i'm like we're gonna be an odd number soon we're gonna have five people in our family and we're gonna have to tell people that there's five of us and we're gonna have to add another chair in and like I don't know, that just like hit me when we were on vacation. I was like, what? That's so crazy that we're going to be five and have to figure out like, it's just good. <laughs> I don't know why that was such a big deal to me, but I was like, I cannot believe this. But I didn't know if I was actually going to have three kids or if we were going to stick with the two. So, uh, it's still just like unreal. It's so crazy. And I'm just so curious how the girls are going to be with her when she gets here. And what she's going to look like. If she's going to look like Kendall or Claire. If she's going to act like them. Because they act totally different. They're two totally different girls and so I'm like she's probably going to be more like Kinsley or Claire or maybe she'll be her own self and she'll be even totally different than them too I don't know so it'll be cool to see their relationships as, as they grow up and who they'll be closest with and who they'll play with more and who they'll be like and look like and all that kind of stuff so 
I'm really excited. And I think that's about it. Oh yeah, let me see. She's about the size of a banana now, which is really cool. She's about 10 and a half inches, it says, and about should be about 12, in, 12 ounces. But she was a couple, like, ounces. She's probably like 14 ounces. I feel like she's like two ounces ahead, or a little bit bigger, um, whenever we had our ultrasound, they were saying. So, I think she's... I think she's gonna, probably going to be in August. I, for some reason, I really thought she's going to be here in August, even though my due date September 5th. Like, I feel like the, I don't know, the end of August is what I'm thinking. She might be here. But I don't know. Claire, Kinsley was early. Claire was right at her due date. So, I'm thinking she might be somewhere in the middle, like just a little bit early. So, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, guys. So, this is my belly. 21 weeks. She's getting so big. I still can't believe it's another girl. Big girlies. So wearing my Lululemon leggings. I'm probably gonna wear these the whole time. They've been so comfy and stretchy. Sorry, I think Molly started talking again. So I still feel like I'm carrying really low this time. Different. I don't know. She just positioned different. I guess. I am, I think I've gotten really big. I feel huge. I'm a little over 34 inches. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> if that's where I'm normally at. Like 34 and a little bit more. So that's what she's looking like. Love her so much already. Hopefully we'll figure out her name soon. It's so funny. My sister-in-law is texting me names right now. So, or me and Joel. So, it's <laughs> so cool. I love all the names she's thinking of too. Keely, Kaylee, Kaylin, Kaylin, Casey, Kaylee, Caroline, Carter, Keegan, Keelan. There's so many K's. But I don't know. I even know if I want to do a K. So... I'm like looking at all kinds of different names. Like I kind of want to do something different, but I don't know yet. And then I have a cool idea, but I don't want to tell you guys yet what mine is because I don't want to give it away. So we will see you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll try to get here for our 22 week update, but I don't get back to the doctor until about another three weeks. So it's going to be a little bit until I get back to the doctor. And I don't know, not a whole lot will probably change other than my belly's gonna get really big. I have been feeling good and all that kind of stuff. So, so yeah, I just I'm excited for summertime, and then I'm like, and it's gonna be here, and then it's gonna be crazy holidays again, and years just fly by now. It's so crazy because I guess we just stay busy and fun with the girls, and yeah. So I hope you guys are doing good, and we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, like, and check out the girls. We did a room tour of their rooms right now, so if you want to check that out. And we'll see you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye.